Have you wondered what should you learn after OLLs and PLLs? After you have done the F2L, you will need to do the OLL. And at last, you will need to do a PLL to solve the cube. You should only use one hand for most of the OLLs, like the dot OLL. And for this JB perm, you will use the right hand to do it. But for this JA perm, you should use also the right hand. After you can do this, what should you learn next? If you want to learn winter variation, some cases are hard to tell like this, or else you will need to look at the slot that you are inserting, which means that you will need to look at the U layer and the F2L slot, which makes this harder. There are different more sets of algorithms, like the CLLL, and also the ZBLLs. There are also a lot more, but we will not be covering that in this video. Winter variation has 27 cases, and some cases are hard to tell, and all edges should be already oriented. This makes the winter variation sometimes unusable in the solve. COLL has 40 cases, but it only uses when all edges are oriented. It takes less time and easier to recognize than ZBLL and winter variation. For ZBLLs, there are 493 cases, which makes it hard to learn all, and it takes more time to recognize. The winner is... <coughs> C-O-L-L -L. If you wonder why, because it takes less time to recognize and the winter variation is the middle one and the C-B-L-L takes the most time to recognize and it doesn't have too much cases to learn which makes you learn easier In conclusion, I recommend you to learn C-O-L-L -L after OLLs and PLLs don't forget to share this video and like this video and subscribe to my channel and also follow my Instagram. That's it. See you in the next video.